guys, welcome back to the Mix family. Bang, 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 bang. Um, hope you all are staying safe and staying inside and washing your hands. Um, on another note, uh, we are still doing our April COVID-19 giveaway. So remember to stay home, stay safe, and be active on our giveaway for your chances to win. On a higher note, I'm going to be showing you guys a really cute makeup look you guys can try at home. Um, my start to my makeup routine, um, anytime I do it, is I'll wipe my face off with some sort of makeup remover wipe. I like to get these ones. You can find them at Walmart, pretty much anywhere. Uh, one is a collagen-based one, and that kind of helps with uh, your pores and all that fun stuff. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So, yeah, get in there, remove all of the sleepy stuff. Scrub. Just make sure you have a clean surface. Okay. Next, I like to moisturize my face and I use, I got this serum from Ipsy. It's one of my favorites. I'm pretty sure you've seen Susanna reveal it on her Ipsy reveal. But it's one of the hydrating solutions. Sorry, I can't see without my glasses. Really, really nice. It makes your skin feel really soft. Um, if you have dry spots or dry skin, this is a really good product to use right before you do your makeup. I do recommend anybody who does wear heavy makeup or has a lot of makeup or even dry skin in general, just um, moisturize your face as much as you can before applying any sort of makeup, um, even before your primer. Um, I don't wear primer on my face. I only just do primer on my eyes. Oh, I'm sorry, I should show you first. The primer I'm using is from Urban Decay. You can get this at Sephora, Ulta. Um, I'm a big fan of Urban Decay. After I apply my primer, not a lot of people know this or do this, um, but I put on setting powder. The only reason I put my setting powder and setting spray on before and after is so my look kind of locks and holds. Um, I did dance for a very long time and this is how during recital I would get my makeup to stay on. Um, if any of you dance or know about dance, you guys know that it's hard to keep your makeup on. This does the trick. It does not have to be put on beautifully, but do two coats. Next, I am going to conceal. It's a waterproof concealer for Bye Bye Under Eye. This works wonders. As you can see, my under eyes are super, super dark. Uh, I have really dark spots from high school. Um, I would stay up all night on my phone like a teenager, you know, that fun stuff. So if I have any young, if we have any young viewers out there who are in high school or have boyfriends, don't stay up all night. It takes a toll on you when you're older. Sorry, I gotta look in my mirror for this part. I wanna make sure, you wanna make sure you blend this in the best you can. Um, I should've told you guys to begin with, I am not a makeup artist. I don't consider myself a makeup artist. Um, yeah. I just do this for fun because it makes me feel pretty and it makes me feel fun. Um, I don't care if you guys don't know how to do your makeup. If you want to do your makeup and have fun, try out this look. I do use my fingers to blend some spots of my face um, just because the brush doesn't, the sponge doesn't always get it. But next we're going to move on to our eyebrows. Now, this one I have is pencil my brow pencil, or sorry, precisely my brow pencil. Um, you can get it at Sephora. Um, you can probably get it anywhere, really. There it is, sorry guys. Um, sorry. But my mom got me this for my birthday and I've seen a lot of artists like Jeffree Star, um, I'm not sure who else, but I've noticed Jeffree Star uses this a couple of times. Um, so I bought it because I wanted to be cool and trendy, I guess. 
And see, all I do is... Well, don't do a horrible job like I'm doing, but all I do is fill in the holes and codes. I'm just kidding. Sorry, guys. I'm weird. I don't really know what to do or say in this, so bear with me. Oh god, that looks horrible. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Don't make it look this bad, of course. Make it look really pretty. So, I'm gonna come back. Okay, there we go. Once you have them semi-even, like I said, I am not a makeup artist. I am barely learning everything um, as I go, so don't judge me too bad. I take constructive criticism, but don't be mean. After I do my brows, I usually do my eyeshadow. So today, since I didn't know what kind of a look I wanted to do, I had gotten some input from Susanna. I'm gonna pick from my palettes, and then I'm gonna pick numbers that I'm going to be using on my eyes. So this is for the palettes. Um, just so you guys can see, I have quite a bit of makeup. That's all my makeup palettes. So to make it easier on myself, I numbered them all. I found numbers that they all have, and I wrote them on card, or not cards, I wrote them on pieces of paper so I can pull from an egg and see what I get. For the palette, not for the look. Okay. Hmm. I got palette 15. Ooh, scary. My 15th palette is... Oh, this is actually a morph palette my mom bought me for Christmas. I'm so excited. I haven't really used it, so I'm actually going to use it, my mom. See, morph. Sorry, mom. <laughs> you know I have a lot of makeup, and I'm still going making my rounds. But there's such beautiful neutral colors. Very natural. So I'm kind of excited, you guys. So let's see what we're going to work with today. All right, and these will contain the numbers that I'm going to be doing. So, like I said, I'm not gonna Oh, yellow, green and yellow. Okay, so I have to use these colors in this specific order. And the numbers I got were 29, 14, and 20. So you guys can see, so you know I'm not cheating. So, I did, I pulled 20, or I'm sorry, 29, then 14, then 20. So, let's try this. Make sure you use a clean makeup brush, don't use dirty ones. If you are like me and are very picky about certain brushes, um, I like to use specific brushes for my eyes and for my makeup or for my eyeshadows, so I have to clean mine off constantly. All right, so the first one is gonna be a dark color. You guys, I was never really creative with my makeup growing up. I wasn't allowed to wear makeup, my grandmother let me wear makeup at a young age and oh i was going back through some like my old pictures just to kind of get an idea of my, my makeup mm -mm, guys that look was not for me i had the like heavy eyeliner you know the really heavy eyeliner yeah no not me Her and bottom lashes I like that. Oh, look. You don't have to if you don't want to. <clears throat> um, all of this stuff is optional. If you don't like to do your makeup like this or prefer to do your makeup a certain way, do it that way. Keep doing it that way. It's probably fun and easy. And the only last thing I do to my um, eyelashes after I do that extension is I curl this one just because... It's a little special. It needs a little help sometimes. See? 
I'm just kidding. After that, I then do my last round of setting powder on my eyes. So I'll set my brows, my lids. And as I'm doing that, waiting for everything to set, I use this oil I got from Ipsy again. Another Ipsy product. It's called Super 8 Lip Oil. But I'll put a teensy bit on. I don't like my lips super shiny or oily. Hmm? So just about that much. See? Just gives them a little bit of an oil. After that, I'll be ready to party. Sorry, I have weird taste in music, you guys. Um, I am wearing an Avenged Sevenfold shirt, but I am listening to like 2000s r and I don't know why. Let me know down in the comments if anybody else is like me where they have extremely weird or odd taste in music. Um, I also listen to country. Um, I like to listen to Spanish love. Um, and I like... <clears throat> yeah, I like heavy metal, I like screamo, I like old rock, new rock. Old country, new country. Um, yeah. Does anybody else have like a really broad, weird taste in music? Okay. So try to blend in your foundation the best as possible. Um, so it doesn't look really blended properly. Yes, I go in after and um, blend the like corners of my head and all that because you don't want to look weird. Like, I don't know if you if you guys have ever like seen pictures of when you were younger and stuff like that, and you're starting your makeup and you have like weird lines and weird spots and stuff. Yeah, you don't want that. All right, then we look to see if we like it. I like it. Do you guys like it? Do you like how it came out? I love how it came out. Last but not least, I'm going to pull one more egg and that is going to be the color of my lipstick. Now, this big box is full of different color lipstick. Majority red, but different colors. I have tons of lipstick. So, let's pull out a color. We're not gonna look. Uh, grab this one. Ooh, an orange. Five. It was a red. <laughs> I have a, I believe this is LA Girl, it's a matte red, the name is, it's a little old so it's kind of faded so you can't really see the name, <laughs> sorry. I do use it a lot, it's one of my favorites. Oh, I regret that decision. This was one of my like big time favorite lipsticks to wear. Uh, I'm going to be a little adventurous. Um, I like to throw this black on it. I like to throw this black on any of my lipsticks. It just kind of makes them duller. So if they're bright like this and I have dull makeup on or if I have darker makeup, I'll throw a black on it. See? Oh, that's so much nicer. See? That yeah, looks pretty nice. Alright guys. After that, I set my makeup, then I do my hair. Alright guys, so that's it for today's look. Um, I like it. I like how it came out. Um, thank you for coming along. Um, don't forget to hit the bell, follow us, and subscribe. All of our links and social medias will be down below. Um, and yeah, hit that bell for a new video. Bye guys.